everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> Today's video is a Yes Style haul. As you guys might know, Yes Style gives me a $500 budget to spend on their website every month in exchange for a video. And I have some incredible dresses to show you today. These dresses, uh, I actually picked them up originally as fall dresses. They weren't quite seasonally appropriate for me here in Australia because our seasons are basically opposite to a lot of my viewers' native hometowns. So these dresses are intended to be fall dresses. They all have long sleeves, I've got some coats as well to wear, they're all very long dresses and they are honestly some of the best things that I've picked up from YesStyle. This is a try on haul but it's also a week long wear test so I'm going to put on each dress and show you and then show you what I did during the week while I was wearing the dress. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Okay, so outfit number one was this uh, houndstooth coat and this black turtleneck long sleeve dress. I also paired it with a little handbag. I lent that handbag to my mum, so I can't show you a close up of it right now. Now, first of all, I must say, this coat is incredible. This feels so well made. It's very, very warm. It's very comfortable. It's got multiple layers in it. It has beautiful buttons running all the way down the front. The turtleneck dress is one of the softest things ever. I have found over the time that I've been reviewing Yes Style that they do turtlenecks very, very, very well. This is so comfortable. It's a really warm fabric. The sleeves are a very nice length. I love the way that it sits on my legs. It comes down to a really, really nice height. So I wore this outfit out to Korean barbecue and the coat had me feeling a little bit like Sherlock Holmes. We had to head out to Ikea that night, so I had a lot of fun posing around the place wearing this outfit. Yes style is quaking. You get this one, or the blue one, the white one, the chamfered one. Oh, that's a pretty one. I did blend in very, very well with some nice cushions that I found. My favorite thing about Ikea is the product names because they all sound like some sort of Swedish insult. Oh, Daniel Eurig. Skagort. Yamain. Snajder. Matelska. Yapolig. Joseph. Alex, you're a maniac if you want more furniture. Is that the best of your gut? You're pretty proud of that, aren't you? <laughs> so here's the expectation and reality shots of the dress and the coat. I think the dress in the pictures is the dress that I'm wearing and the coat in the pictures is the one that I'm wearing. There's many, many different brands sold on YesStyle and sometimes some of the brands are replicas, you know, they copy other brands and sometimes the pictures are of the actual product that you're receiving. So I was very, very chuffed to see that this is exactly what I'd hoped for. This is one of my favorite outfits. I don't wear black very much, but I will wear it to certain occasions and I've had some business meetings I've had to go to where I've worn this outfit. I've had late night dinners. I've gone to friends houses because sometimes I just can't be bothered dressing up a lot and I'll just put on turtleneck long sleeved and black because that's an easy way to look sophisticated and stylish without trying at all. Okay, so the outfit for day number two is one of my favorites in this video. It's this two piece. It's a turtleneck with this really beautiful long pinafore dress. This dress has pockets, so it's an instant win for me. And it's got buttons, so I guess Archie adores it. Now this dress, the sizing is a little bit strange on this one. All the others I ordered in a small and they fit fine, but this one is a little bit tight. Having it zipped up all the way at the back makes it a little bit hard to breathe, especially because you're wearing the turtleneck underneath that little bit of extra fabric kind of throws off the sizing. So I would say if you're going to order this, potentially size up. Now I wore this for a very special occasion. If you live in Sydney, you'll know about the launch of the Hills Metro line. Where I grew up in the Hills district, we didn't have a train line anywhere near us and they've been working on it for years and years and years and it finally 
came to launch day and the Daily Telegraph, I think it was, one of the newspapers, they had a contest and they asked people to write in and say why they wanted to be the first person on the maiden voyage of the train before it opened to the public. And my mum wrote in and she wrote a really sappy sweet story about how we've lived in that area for like 30 years and uh, she was one of the people that won. So they chose a big group of people to be the first people to ride the train line before it opened to the public. This station is opening. We're gonna be among the first people to ride on this train. It's only about 10 years too late for me. See, I lived along this train line and I went to university and everything, but there was no trains in this area and you know, I had to get a bus or multiple buses and that actually influenced which university I went to because I was like, gee, you know, there's no train to get into the city. I want to go to a university that's closer because some of my friends were traveling for like three hours a day just to get to university, having to hop on like four or five different buses. So I picked a specific university that I didn't have to travel too far for. Had I had this train back then, I wonder where I would be right now. Isn't that crazy to think like how your life is influenced by public transport? Anyway, nonetheless, we're excited. I'm wearing this dress. I'm wearing the turtleneck that came with it. I'm wearing this sort of corduroy pinafore style dress. I'm a little bit not that happy with the shoe situation. In the pictures, she was wearing these little ankle boots that laced up, but I, I didn't have any dark brown boots, so I'm wearing black boots. It looks a little bit awkward, not quite right, because the, the boots are pointy and they're kind of like modern, whereas the dress is more vintage or like Amish. So it doesn't quite match, but it's it's the best I could do with the situation that I had. So hopefully they actually let us film on the train, fingers crossed, because if they don't, well, you're not even going to get to see me walking around in this. Hopefully you'll get some good footage of the outfit and hopefully it keeps me warm because it's freezing outside. Okay, see you on the train. I honestly adore this outfit. I did stand out a little bit, you know, walking around with all the other people at the station. I looked a little bit strange because it is more of a, a kind of vintage -y outfit, I would say, but I felt so good wearing it. It's comfortable-ish, the, the turtleneck, that's comfortable. This is even more comfortable than the turtleneck dress. This is the softest fabric imaginable. I wish you could reach through the camera and feel it because it's heavenly. So excited. I mean, we're literally just, just going in one direction and coming straight back, but I want to see all the new sights. I've lived in this area literally my whole life since I was born. I was, I was born in this area, never left it. And there's so many parts I haven't seen, so hopefully I'll see them out the window of the train. <laughs> It's uh, the train's maiden voyage, and in classic New South Wales public transport fashion, it's late. But you can't blame the driver because it's a it's a driverless train, so I don't know how that one works. Just just 15 minutes late. That's all. That's all. Just just 15 minutes. I mean, it's only the first time it's ever left the station. It's not like there's any other trains that they have to deal with on the line. <laughs> This is insane. This has been my whole life I've been waiting for this. There was no station here. We used to just get buses everywhere. You had to get about 10 buses if you wanted to go anywhere. And now there's a station. You'd never know you're in Castle Hill. Like anyone from the Hills District, Castle Towers is up there somewhere, I think. I think we're very far underground. It's all very, very fancy. Look, it's all like going up the escalators too. The escalators are all red. So apparently every station has a different color theme. So the one that we got on at had green and then Castle Hill is Red, and I've been told that Cherry Brook is pink, so very excited. <laughs> Yeah, wow, it's very pretty. Hey, this is so cool. Oh dear. 
What do you think, Alex? Oh, this is crazy. I just, I don't know, it's so weird to think like I grew up here. I know this area inside and out. It's, oh look, they're filming my dad. Just, just your average commuter on his way to work. <laughs> my dad's going up and there's this guy holding a big camera. We're literally on the platform and this window here is like a barricade to stop you from falling onto the tracks. So they've put the barricades here with all these lovely inspirational quotes. So for example, I'd much rather go out, said no one ever. <laughs> Well done. Train rides over. It's time to go home. The dress it's I'm so sorry. The dress itself is made very, very well. It's really, really thick corduroy. My main concern with it is these two straps here. I wish that they were a little bit spaced apart because it just seems a little bit weird how they're so close together and then when they go around your shoulder, they kind of angle in a funny way like this. So I wish they were a little bit further apart. But aside from that, this dress is fantastic. What? I adore the look of it. It's one of my favorites. Feather. Archie, look. Is this yours? Look. Look. What's the, is that yours? Ah. Oh. Here, let me give it back. <laughs> is this yours? <laughs> so here's the expectation photo. I think, I think it's the same. I'm pretty sure what I'm wearing is exactly what it is in the photo. I think this is another one of those brands that takes lovely pictures of their actual clothes and it's not a copy of something else. That being said though, I am just remembering the picture from what I just saw on my screen. You're looking at it side by side, so tell me if you, know, if you see any differences, but I'm very, very happy. This one is a great find and I think it's going to be appropriate for fall and for winter as well because it's very, very warm. When we were done on the train, we headed to my husband's mum's house and we sat in the garden and we ate lunch and I had a little sun hat on and I felt absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Okay guys, you're gonna get sick of hearing me saying this, but this is my favorite thing on YesStyle. This dress is absolutely glorious. It's a little bow peep dress. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's got a bow here. I think I might actually just leave that loose. You can tie it up, but it's got a bow there and it ties up at the back. This also has pockets, which is just incredible. There are no words. There's just something so nice about big voluminous dresses with pockets on them. I love it. So I wore this to meet up with I wore this to meet up with my friend Lucy Living from Instagram. I have been following Lucy for quite a while and I wanted to impress her because she is a beautiful pastel princess. So I thought that this dress was perfect for the occasion to wear to see her. I'm in town today. I am meeting up with someone that I have been following on Instagram for a very, very long time. This is the first time I've ever met up with an internet person. Uh, I was always raised to not trust people from the internet. So I'm hoping that my dear friend Lucy is actually a real life Lucy and not a Lucifer or something. So anyway, I'm wearing the vintage dress and already just walking from my car up the busy street. I had three comments, all of them were rude. Uh, I had a couple of people laughing and I had someone go, oh my God, what's that? Like looking straight at my dress. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Lucy because she's a, a breath of fresh air and I'm hoping she can cheer me up and maybe like compliment me on my dress or something when she sees me because I'm not feeling so great about it right now. Okay, we're here. This is Lucy. Hello. Lucy Livin. Or it's a me. Livin Lucy. <laughs> I used to call you Livin Lucy for the longest time. Oh wait, really? <laughs> yes. Wow. Clearly I used my to be branding. like, so I was watching Livin Lucy the other day. <laughs> I, I sent people to the wrong account, definitely. Oh, well, I hope Livin Lucy is having an amazing <laughs> yeah. time and enjoying that. So we're finally meeting. I have been following Lucy on Instagram. I think it's been like over a year, maybe like I two years. I think it's been two years. Probably been two years. I think it's been two years. And as, as fellow Australians that both love pastel, we love pink, yes. we love Japan, yes. Korean fashion. Oh, yes. So I, I knew that we were going to be friends and uh, we've been trying to organize a meetup of some sort for quite some time mm, and it just worked yeah. out. Lucy was in Sydney and we were like, that's it, it's happening. I, I told Dan I'm meeting up with someone from Instagram and he was like, are you sure it's, a, it's so worried? I'm incredibly. Have you seen me? I just look very threatening. <laughs> she does. Um, she really, does. you know, dangerous looking, and you know, I so I totally understand Dan. I was scared. She came walking towards me, and I was like, "Oh god, she she looks Spooky. nothing like her pictures." I do look like, like a Victorian ghost child sometimes. <laughs> People have been known to mistake me for a ghost woman. So, uh, Lucy's channel is 
uh, listed below. Go check her oh out. She God. has some awesome <laughs> Korean fashion. And obviously you're here because you like Korean fashion. That's why you're watching this Yes Style video. I think so that's how we know each other. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, basically. <laughs> Korean. Yeah, yeah. So uh, go check her out below. And uh, what are you wearing? To I like this jacket. Oh, Where's this jumper? This, this jumper is actually from, I, so lovely, a lovely lady from Brisbane sent it to me. This is from Simple the Label. Simple the Label? It has a little bit of ginger miso dressing on it. It's got the poke bowl on it. Love, but love I'm going to wash love it out. That. I'm very classy. Can you tell? I'm incredibly well put together woman. Well, <laughs> when I, I screamed when she came up to me. We were like, I was waiting at the station and she came up to me and I screamed. I was like, you're even more beautiful in person than you are in pictures. It's the uh, big lashes. I pulled out the big lashes to you. Oh, Alex. thanks, Lucy. I appreciate it. <laughs> I went the dead opposite. See, all my eyelash extensions are falling. They're falling out. I'm actually going back. They're not looking so. They're falling out, but I am falling in love. Aww. <laughs> We're meant to be <laughs> friends. So, um, what do you think of my dress, Lucy? Do you like I, it? Okay, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, little princess from the prairie. I'm loving it. So, before I saw you, uh, I was walking up the road and some people made some comments and they weren't very nice comments. Oh, okay. There was like a guy and a girl having a conversation and when I walked past him, he stopped and he went, bruh, what the fuck? <laughs> Me, when I go anywhere. <laughs> so I was feeling really sad and I was like, I hope Lucy likes my no. outfit. Because if Lucy looks at me and says, bro, what the fuck? I mean, look, you know, if you're like in the middle of the city and you're surrounded by business people, like obviously you're going to stand out a little bit. It's okay. But like, it's cute. It's cute. I like the print and I like um, the little collar detail. Well, it's thank pretty. you. All the colors are. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some full length shots yes. and uh, hopefully you guys can go check out Lucy. Oh, check out her Instagram. Oh, that God. Is, that is one oh, no. pleasing Instagram. It's like I'm ASMR so as a feed. What? I, I, if I'm feeling anxious, I like look at Lucy's wait, Instagram and I'm like, wait, these pictures are so pretty. I love it. You just like go up and I'm like, hello. <laughs> I actually love ASMR. Did you know that? Do you? I was thinking about having an ASMR channel. Okay. But I know that people don't like it. But then I'm like, mm. there's a market for everything, Lucy. <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> and pickles. So it's like, have you seen yeah. the seafood video? Oh, With like God. the giant crab claws, not uh, me. I'm not a seafood No, you, but, no, no but, what about pickles? Crunching pickles? But like, you know, like maybe nail tapping. Ah, uh, yes. Like why why oh, are you I, doing I, ASMR? I oh. oh, you did bird ASMR. You did Archie ASMR. Ah, we have a true, a true oh, fan yes. here. She's, she's seen it. She's seen it. Um, hashtag the birds days. I'm fully aware. Oh, thank you Lucy, very much. thank you. Appreciate anyway, uh, we're going to get some full length shots. I'll do some spins for you so you guys can see this stunning skirt. Oh no, what have you, Alex, what have you done? I'm embarrassing myself. Every time I go out in public, I do something wrong. It's fine. It's okay. It, I mean, it's tied now. That oh, actually, that looks really cute. Oh, that's an Insta photo right there. Good to have a cute little Instagrammable dress moment. Yeah, this is one of those dresses that if you, like, stand and pull out the skirt. Yes, get the toe in. The toe. They're like, yes. Oh my goodness. That's what I love about it. Oh, and yes. festival. Pockets. Alex, stop. You did not tell me this had pockets. Pockets, Lucy. I love oh it. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, pockets. Oh my gosh, beautiful, <laughs> stunning, we stun. This is the expectation of this dress. I am so very, very happy. I could not have hoped for a better dress. This has layers and layers of fabric, giving it this beautiful puffy skirt. The color is absolutely stunning. It's so unique, and even though there were some people in public that thought I looked ridiculous and just had to make comments, I don't care because I love this, and I'm going to continue wearing it when the weather cools down here. It has warmed up since it has warmed up since I filmed that with Lucy, so I haven't been able to wear this in some time. But as soon as it starts to cool down a bit more, I will live in this. I'm going to take it to Japan with me next time I go as well. It's just perfect. That's all I can say. Okay, so this next dress is glorious. I posted this on Instagram a little while ago and I had so many comments from people asking me where it's from. There were also a lot of comments from people saying that they had this in their cart already, but they weren't sure if they were actually going to buy it or not. Well, I can safely tell you guys, you can buy this with confidence. This is stunning. It's made very, very well. I would pay like $100, $120 for this dress if I saw it in a store. That's how good I think it is. It came with this little white belt and it's got these lovely white buttons going all the way up here. Unfortunately, this doesn't have pockets. That's a shame, but also I do understand because the silhouette, it's quite, it falls quite nicely on the hips and I feel like pockets could kind of disrupt that a little bit. Now, I did pair this with some shoes that I got from YesStyle a little while ago and they are very, very musical shoes. <laughs> Excuse me! He just stole a button! <sighs> I'm done. 
So I wore this dress out to visit my friends who got a new puppy. Now, I, I thought that the bells would be great for the puppy. I thought that she, she would really, really enjoy them and she would be entertained. But instead, I was just thoroughly entertained by her. She was gorgeous and glorious. Infinite of everyone. Yeah, infinite. The possibilities are infinite. Come and get swimmy! Okay, ready? What's this is okay, this is Peanut everyone. This is Jaden and Mel's new dog Peanut. Oh, oh. 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 So sweet. Do you wanna hold it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we can teach these. Hello. Look, I, I have noises for you. Ready? Look. Ready? <laughs> I don't like it. Oh no, she likes it. She definitely likes it. I wanna pounce on it. Oh. <laughs> Hello. That's the take. So basically, my thoughts about what? these shoes are that they're really crumpy. What? Hey, you gotta be quiet. Walk without making a single sound. They're really, really comfortable. <laughs> I thought that they would be a little bit too small for my feet, but they're actually perfectly fine. I had to get them in one size up though because they are Asian sizes. So, I hope no one minds when I go outside that I sound like a wild dog. <laughs> Let's run away from home. <laughs> Jaden and Mel are never getting her back. She's mine now. <laughs> you got this off eBay? Yeah. There you go everyone, Mel, Mel got this jacket off eBay. It is a puppy pouch. Is that what it's designed for? Hi yes. doggy. Oh, it's got little paw prints. Oh, that's so cute. Good doggy. Yes, style is quaking. <laughs> Wait, so when we get back I home, you've got a film? Yes, so I'm gonna be stopping it. I can't do it. Do what? You need to take those off. I cannot take you seriously at all. I'm so sorry. Get them off. Off with them. Sam has spoken. Off with them. Okay, that's it. No more bells. No more. Actually, I think I might take the extra bow off too because I feel like the extra bow is like a little bit too Lolita. versatile you can be super super cutesy and super annoying or you can be a little bit more sensible just like moderately cute okay good to go ah oh, oh that's so much better <laughs> yay. yay I love it I can hear myself talking I am uh, forcing one of my friends to become a temporary youtuber to tell you guys about this adorable hoodie that she got on eBay oh, so it's a kangaroo hoodie and it has paw prints on the shoes <laughs> and here and it has Ears on the hoodie. I love it. And also where the dog is, there's a zipper where you can detach the pouch to take out to clean. Mel, you would be a great YouTuber. <laughs> you should do a pet review channel with your new puppy. <laughs> she has an Instagram. She has an Instagram. What's, what's, it? what's your Instagram? What's handle? Let's give her a shout out. It's right there. At Toy Peanut Poodle. <laughs> there you go guys. Follow at Toy Peanut Poodle. <laughs> so this is the expectation of the dress and this far surpasses my expectations. I saw the picture and I thought it's not gonna be I thought it's not gonna be that good. It can't be that good. It's better. It really is better. Such a shame that the button came off. I'm gonna have to sew that back on. I actually that's one of the the first times that Archie has actually just easily been able to rip off a button. So I do think that maybe the buttons could have been sewn on a bit better. But aside from that, it's perfect. Okay, and this is the very last dress, and I adore it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have that much footage of myself wearing this dress. I've worn this quite a few times, but I've never taken my camera out with me on any of the times that I've worn it. And uh, for the footage that I have of this that I'm gonna show you now, I shot this on my iPhone because I actually wore this out to a friend's graduation ceremony at university, and the people that I was with 
Uh, they're not such big fans of YouTube, uh, they don't like to be on camera and they don't like to film anything either. Are you right? Why are you mauling it? So I didn't get any proper footage, but I did manage to get someone to just film me kind of posing a little bit on a balcony so that I could show you the full length of this. I love these sleeves. This is very, I would say, medieval. I feel like I could be in a village in Skyrim uh, asking someone to help me complete a side quest. This has this beautiful lace-up detailing going all the way down the front here. It's a perfect length on me. I really love it. It looks so nice with boots and high heels. It is a little bit warm because the sleeves, they... No, stop it! No! No. No. The sleeves don't breathe in the slightest at all, so it does get very, very warm. So I would say for cooler weather, this one is totally fine. You can't really get away with this on a summery day. And I did think that this was going to be a two-piece, but it's completely one piece. The sleeves are attached to the dress itself, so unfortunately if it's warm you can't take off a top underneath or anything because it's, it's all one piece. This is the expectation for this one, and once again, like everything in this video, pretty sure that is the exact dress that I'm wearing. I actually, I want to look more into this brand that's on YesStyle and get some more stuff from them because these, this dress, I adore it. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, and you like it too, do you? Because it's green? Is that why? Is that why you like it? So anyway guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope you liked this video. Sorry it was a little bit messy. Hope you don't mind. If you ever have any items on YesStyle that you want me to try, please leave them in the comments down below because I don't have to pay for the stuff. I can get it for free. It's a good opportunity for me to review things for you guys. And if you like it, it's a good opportunity for us to make commission on the sales. So don't forget, check out the links in the description box below if you want to pick up anything for yourself. You won't pay any extra, but we'll earn a bit of commission on the side. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram. It's pretty pastel, please. Archie's Instagram is Archie Eclectus. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!